at this cloud chaser trying to create new video ideas around Islam. He's so desperate for views, just searching the internet for anything Islam related so that he can make his video that no one watches anyways, looking for happiness in his meaningless life. What he does not even realize is that this is not real Dawa. I suggest you all unsubscribe. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm just so grateful, thankful, and humbled, humbled that Allah sent you to this video today. And I'm so sorry for not having an intro earlier. No, I made the intro myself because you, you're not creative enough. You did the intro? I hope you didn't mess it up! Guys, we're living in changing times where Muslims are no longer struggling or oppressed and we're making strides in the right direction. Hey ugly, Muslims are still struggling across the globe. Alright, talk about a buzzkill, Siri. Alright, enough of Siri for a second, but for real though, we're, we're living in a time right now where a lot of us are somehow shying away from our religion because we've associated the lack of success and our religion to go hand in hand. But well, that's really not the case. And a lot of times our family members and our parents, out of just an immense amount of love and concern of us not being able to keep up in this crazy world of a rat race, encourage us to maybe not wear the hijab right now. You know what I mean? If you're about to go to uni, you're about to go for a job interview, to not wear the hijab or for a male to shave the beard, trim it down because they wouldn't want you to not be successful in this world that we live in. And I don't think their intention is to hide your deen or your religion, but that's essentially what ends up taking place. And then comes this legend right here, Rafia Arshad, who says, fluff all that noise. I'm gonna represent Islam. I'm gonna wear the hijab and I'm gonna achieve the highest levels possible. Just watch, Just watch me. me. That's exactly exactly what this legend did, being the first ever hijab wearing woman to be appointed as district judge. Oh, I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to bring Sharia law. But before we continue this video, here's a word from our sponsor, but that's Q with glasses on. By now guys, it shouldn't come as a surprise to you that one of my sponsors, Sindeed, has been super amazing. Like honestly, their clothes are super dope. They keep me always laced up with the drip and I appreciate them. And on top of being a Muslim owned business, which we should be supporting by the way, their clothes are absolutely comfortable, stylish, and amazing. I would not be suggesting this to you if I personally didn't wear them or like them because I'm very particular when it comes to style and fashion, but I can tell you this right now, Sindeed has not disappointed. So click the link in my description below and check out their website. Maybe there's something on sale that you'd like to purchase or something that really catches your eye. But nonetheless, I really sincerely appreciate Sindeed for supporting content creators such as myself. Without you guys, I couldn't be doing this. Now let's get back to the video. And that's exactly what Rafia wants for us. She doesn't want the hijab or the beard to stop you from thinking that you can't be successful. You can represent your deen. You don't have to sacrifice your Islamic values to make it quote unquote. And she's proving that on a main stage. So many of us are so insecure and shy away from even asking for a few moments to pray Jummah on a Friday within our jobs because we're afraid we're not going to be accepted or even might get fired. Oftentimes we project our own lack of self-esteem and our own insecurities upon others when it comes to Islam, thinking that a company is racist or they won't hire me, hence causing you to change for them instead of changing for the sake of Allah. Oftentimes we think we have to change ourselves and our religion just to fit in within a group of friends or within a company so that they will accept us. But the truth is that if Allah makes it easy for us, there's no one who could stop us. But seeing stories such as Rafia, who is representing Islam and hijabis on such a mainstream and high platform, should aspire us to do more with ourselves and to never sacrifice our religion. The shaitan threatens us with poverty by striking fear into our hearts, making it seem like the only way we can be successful is by committing immorality, leaving our religion, abandoning our deen, while Allah this whole time is inviting us towards His forgiveness and His bounties. So if you want, don't think for a second that anyone could stop you if Allah has written it for you. But Rafia is the perfect example of proof by concept that when Allah is by your side and you have sincere good intentions to never sacrifice or leave your deen, Allah will make things happen for you. Well, that was the video, guys. Tell me in the comment section below, what are your thoughts about the entire thing and how have you personally struggled with your deen and representing it out in the real world? I mean, I'm sure you guys have some really cool stories to tell me and I'm looking forward to reading them in the comment section below. And before you leave me, uh, if you could please sincerely uh, grab the Quran today uh, and uh, read Surah Kaf and you know understand its meaning. And after you're done with Surah Kaf, put that down for a second and go get some Zamzam. If you don't have any, go find some Zamzam. 
and make dua before you're drinking it. Give some to your family and then drink it. Make a lot of dua for the entire ummah. And then after you're done with the dua, put that cup down, make a burp, and then say Alhamdulillah, don't forget to do that. And then don't forget to smash this video with a huge thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. If you'd like to spend a little bit more time with me, click this video right here. And uh, if you're new to this channel, and uh, you like what this is all about, you know, you're like developing a little vibe over here, consider subscribing by hitting this button right here. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.